it is time to hunt some more coin shop penny rolls. I got over 180 of these from my coin shop and we are getting down towards the end of that stash. There is a playlist attached for you to peruse any of the other videos you might have missed. Okay, we're getting down to the uh, nitty gritty here. I think I got, after this, two more of the pennies. I do have some nickels I picked up recently. I'll be doing those. So this week I don't have any coin boxes from the bank yet. I won't be getting them till the end of the week. So I'm going to do the coin rolls from the coin shop and pennies, and then I'll do some nickels. Um, so that's 10 of them. And it looks like I've got two more penny hunts before I'm out of pennies from the coin shop. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay. So 10 rolls. Just just crack two two at a time, dump them out, see if there's anything interesting, and uh, we'll sort of throw them like we usually do. Hopefully, we got some good stuff in these. Um, last rolls, we had... Um, I didn't have any, any variety finds, but I did have uh, some nice, uh, nice coins added that I added to collections. Um, so that is nice. Um, I'm expecting these to be kind of like a mix, circulated, some some uncirculated stuff. Hopefully we get more uncirculated stuff. I have some really cool stuff in here. Let's see. Thirty five, seventy one s some more brown cents there. 2000, um, 1972 out of Denver. There are some things we can look for on these. 82, 1960, 1975. Um, so I will be checking out for some areas of varieties. This one has some fun little tone on the reverse. 1969 out of Denver, Denver. Yep, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'm not seeing anything standing out here as a awesome, awesome point to look at. So let's crack the next roll here and see if there's something in this. It says, let's look at it now. Um, and then I will sort through, save some of the nice ones if there's nice ones for collection. And, uh, Hopefully, find some really cool stuff. That roll came out a lot nicer than the last one. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. A bunch of brown scents. There's some decent, let's say, good 1960. I did not have hardly any 1960s from Denver last uh, last few rolls, or last hunt. Uh, 62, 70, 64. Um, so, this, so far, it looks like mostly 60s and 70s. There's a pretty nice 1960. Um, that might be a small date. That'd be cool if it is. Nice 1960 small date. I will be double checking that. 1961 out of Denver. Pretty red, nice. Some repunchment marks to find on those. So yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, nothing else really standing out as a uh, look at me type set in this roll. There's some nice stuff, but uh, nothing super fancy there. Okay, well let me sort through these, check for the errors and varieties, and uh, we'll be right back and let you know what we got here. All right, all those rolls. Had a few nice ones I set up here to check against the album and see if I want to keep. But that 1960 I pulled out, this nice looking one, is a small date. And those are the uh, more rare of the 1960 small dates. Denver is uh, more common. 
um, but the 1960 small dates are a bit more rare. Okay, let's get the mixture rolls going here. Got a red scent on that end, and looks like a brown scent on this end. And now let's just go ahead. Oh, got a wee, got a weedy. Make sure that roll is empty. But we got a wheat scent right here. Let's take a look and see what date we got. 1947 out of Denver. Nice. Up there, and then let's give this a quick flip through. Um, again, looks like a, another partially circulated roll here. 1994, there's a double die reverse cherry picker's guide variety on that one to check. That one is in between the last two columns there. 1984, we're going to check for the double ear there. Um, I'm not seeing anything else here. Uh, nothing super shiny in this one. This 88 that is a bit circulated does look like the nicest coin out of the bunch. And I will check and see if that has the um, reverse of the 89 there. That's the uh, flared FG is what it's being called now. Um... So yeah, let's tump this next roll and see what we got in this one. Okay. Roll is empty. I always like to squish the rolls a little bit because if I squish them and fold them, the coins don't bend like that, and that way I know I got all the stuff out of the rolls. And let's take a quick look. So far, a bunch of circulated stuff. There's a 1960, it's pretty decent. Um, looks like a, a large date, normal large date, though. All right, out of this roll, I'm not seeing anything as well. So we had that one wheat scent in the first roll, and I'm not seeing any other wheat scents in here. So that's cool. Let me um, sort through this pile of pennies I got here, the big mess, and hopefully we find something good. I'll be right back and let you know. No real finds in this roll, but I did come across the decent 1971. This one has some pretty interesting machine doubling up in this section here. It's 1971S, a little bit on here on the date and the liberty but up in the motto uh upon uh in god especially there is some fun kind of extreme looking machine doubling up there so we've got that up here so it's a fun little find there not uh nothing uh nothing major or substantial um i will double check and make sure that, that isn't a double die that i'm just misclassifying and uh we'll see how that goes 1970 out of Denver. Pretty red. Nice. Um, yeah, so we'll see We'll see what's going on with that. And if it is, I will let you know. 2009 out of Denver. There we go. Ooh, we got a nice shiny roll there. Ooh, this is a nice shiny uncirculated roll, it looks like. 1969 out of Denver. I was trying to get it loose without uh, touching it. 1916. That was a pretty nice shape. This this roll's pretty nice. Let me uh, actually put a glove on for this one. Because these look really nice and shiny. Alright, so let's take a look at this. These coins here. I'm, I'll take a minute and flip through them. 2009. That's pretty good. A little bit of surface dirt on the obverse. We'll check that for an extra finger. Which it does not have. 2004, that one's pretty shiny. I'm going to just stack these up here, up top here. And these will definitely be checked against my album. Another 2009, these are quite nice shape. You can find some, uh, 
some doubling up above the top of the um, building there. Uh, whatever building that is. Um, so that's kind of nice. 1969, pretty decent with the fingerprint. 76, pretty good, Let's, but with some surface. 2014 out of Denver. Well, these uh, shield scents might upgrade. Over there, 1973. That's quite nice. 77. This one just has some slight discoloration on the surfaces there. Not that it is uh, anything going on with it. 1970 out of Denver. Pretty nice. The reverse looks really good there. It's a nice reverse. 1975 out of Denver. Some slight surface spots. This roll is quite nice. Sorry, I'm... Let me see if I can adjust the camera. I just... Okay, we'll see how this goes. Um, 1996 out of Denver. Ooh, that is quite nice. I'll add it up there. 2010. Another nice shield scent. I do need some nice shield scent, especially from Denver. 1995 out of Denver. We will check this one for the doubling. Double die obverse. Um, I believe you see this one mostly on the date. I don't see the doubling in the camera, but I will double check that one. Let's see, two T11. Uh, this one has some surface issues, it looks like. 1973 S, that is a, that is a very nice coin there. T 1997. Uh, it has a double ear, and we will check for that. Ooh, 1980 is a little rough, so they're not all perfect. 19, 2009 out of Denver. And I'm wondering, all these 2009s have a slightly different look to them, have a little matte look to them. I wonder if those came from the mint set. Um, so we've got an another one back here. Yep, just has that slightly different look to it. That one has a little fingerprint on it, unfortunately. Um, and if they did come out the mint set, I believe the mint set in 2009, the, the pennies were struck on copper planchets. So they are the old style copper. Uh, same, same stuff that these uh, 76s were struck on. It's got a little bit of surface issue to it. 1970 out of San Francisco. Uh, looks like a large date in the camera, but we will double check that. Here's another 2009. So that's some noise in the background there. I pause for a quick second to check, and I figured I would just check. This 1970S is a large date, but it does have a repunched mint mark. I found a couple of these. This is uh, RPM number one. So that is a pretty nifty little find there. Put it up top for safekeeping. And uh, let's keep looking at these coins. And I'll probably have to pause again here in a second. Like 2014. I'll check that for the double die obverse. Uh, because that one does have doubling. Uh, I believe it's Cherry Picker's Guide as well. 95. That's a pretty nice 95. This whole roll is just uh, mostly pretty nice coins. As I pick up... Uh, 77 out of Denver that has some uh, subpar surface quality. But you, you know, a lot of these, especially the 90s on, uh, Denver has a fingerprint on it. It is a quite nice shape. There is the Lincoln Log Cabin. I'm going to weigh those up and see if they have the correct weight for the copper planchets. 1973 out of Denver. Uh, another one fingerprints. Could be. It feels slightly a bit heavier. This is a nice shiny 1999 out of Denver. That is almost as nice as the one I have in my album. It has some surface imperfections over there. That is a quite nice one. Very shiny. 1981. Some surface issues with that. Nothing major. 2007. Twenty 
13. And you can find some uh, uh, replenishment mark in the E-Player Basunum and on the uh, designer's initials and such there on this, on the reverse. It is kind of hard to see on those. Uh, it's one of the harder ones. 2015, uh, surface quality is not the best. This one has a double die. You can see on the date and up in trust very easily. We will check that. 2010. Oh, I've mumped these. Let's stack them back up. Yeah, these are quite nice here. 316, I've never. Not the best surface quality, but still good. 1975 surface has some slight discoloration on it. Otherwise, that looks like a pretty clean uh, mint state example coin other than the uh, surface discoloration. 2007. This whole stack will be uh, fun to check against my album. 2013 out of Denver. Some slight discoloration, some dirt on the back. 2011 out of Denver. Pretty good there. Just a few more. 1996. The date here. And I think a little bit on trust. You can find a, I believe it's a cherry picker's guide variety of double die. Um, I'm going to check for that. Oh, I've had such a hard time controlling these coins. <laughs> um, I could just pick them up by the edges very carefully, but these are so nice. I figured I'd give it a little extra protection for the coins here. 1970, a little bit of surface uh, issues. Is that another year? No, it's a 2015 out of Denver. This is quite nice shape. 1999. I'll check that one for the wide AM version. Does not, looks normal in the camera here. Yeah, I see no gap in between A and M, so that looks like a normal one. But I will double check. And 1969 out of San Francisco. Pretty nice coin. The doubling is not on that one. The famous double die that's worth a ton of money. It's not on that coin. Okay, so um, before I open up another roll, I'm going to take some time and kind of sort through this. Look at this one and maybe get it stacked up here out of the way because these are such nice shape coins, most of them. And we will go from there. And uh, I got my scale here. Figured let's just take a look at these. 3.14. These are copper. These are copper. I'll check them all. 3.11, 3.10. Yep, copper. These are copper. And because they're um, between 25 and 2010, uh, they had a little matte finish on the coins. So that is why it looks a little different. 3.06 is my skill off. Let's just fix that. 3.12. Yep. Looks normal. Yep. These are all looking copper. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So if these are all copper, 3.1 times 4 should be 12.4. 12.4. 12 12.4. All copper. Nice. So I got a cracked open mint set of copper 2009s. I have the mint set here. And if you look at the uh, scents here, and they're all 95 copper, a little bit of zinc and 10, 3.11 grams. And here we have the uh, little message in here um, about the Lincoln scents in this um, 2009 set. Um, they are the metallic composition used for the 2009 uncirculated one, set, one cent coins the same used originally for 1909 Lincoln cents. The alloy readily, readily tarnishes. So it goes on about that. But this is the same metal content as the 1909 Lincoln cents. And you can see how they are, uh, have that matte finish, slightly lighter tone. 
than the circulator ones, the circulating ones. The circulating ones have that shiny flat finish and this one has that matte finish with a slightly lighter look. Okay, that was a pretty fun roll there. Lots of shiny brand new scents. Those are gonna go great checking against my album. Copper, the Copper 2009s from the Mint set. Very cool. I always like to weigh up my 2009s just to make sure I don't get any. And the Repunch Mint mark on that 1970S. That was a very fun roll. Um, let's go ahead and crack another roll here. I'll probably do two rolls this time and then three rolls next time, unless we run into another really cool roll. But this looks like brown. Yeah, get rid of that. Um, <laughs> I just have such a hard time using the gloves. And I really don't like gloves, period. But, you know, there are times that I do stuff. And we got a nice, shiny wheat scent here in the middle of this roll. Not perfect. Does have some surface dirt on it. So this is probably a 58. Yeah, 58 with the fingerprint on the aubers. Okay. I know some people prefer to wear gloves all the time. And... Yeah, that's fine, but I really don't prefer wearing gloves when it comes to coin hunting unless it's something that I don't want to, uh, I want to take extra special care with. So, yeah, a lot of brown scents. I don't see any more wheat scents. We did get, just got that one red scent there. That was the 69 out of Denver, not out of Philly. That was a pretty brown roll. So we got the really red roll and then a pretty brown roll with a red wheat scent. <laughs> so let's check this next roll. We'll go ahead and dump out a second roll here. This one looks quite normal uh, that I've been seeing out of these. I'm getting started there. All right. 1960 out of Denver. Decent, decent shape. It's not the best thing. 1971 out of Denver. Got some surface issues with that. Let's see. 1970 S, another 1970S. And you know, I've checked those for all the stuff going on with them. Repunch mint March, large date, small date. There's a 71S and a 72. We'll check those for the doubling. Um, 1990 out of Denver. 74. 1971S, there's an 84. That one might have a double ear on it. But I will double check that under the scope. Okay, well let me get this two sorted and then uh we'll go into the next ones all right through those rolls i did come across two 1960s out of denver this one is quite nice it's small date denver this one does have a uh looks like it has some slight replenishment mark it might be slightly twisted it's ever so slight on that one um so if it is i will put it with you uh i'll make sure i'll list what these are this is a large date and this one does look like it has a little more of a doubling. These are both uh, minor doublings, so they are a little hard to make out and see. All right, let's crack into the roll and see what we got here. Um, so yeah, I found some RPMs in this hunt. So far, so good. Awesome. Three more rolls to go. Um, and uh, enough rolls so i'm gonna have two more hunts of these penny hunts that i got from the coin shop and then i'll be all out of the pennies and i just recently picked up the nickels and i'm gonna do a hunt of nickels here it looks like we got a plated coin in this one it's like a gold plated right here Ooh, to get that shine yep that is a gold plated 2000 out of denver um now, because coins get plated, gold, silver, platinum, whatever, um, they are considered damaged coins uh, because the surfaces have been altered. 
Um, and they use such a minuscule amount of gold. It's probably a few cents worth of gold here. So they are more of a neat little oddity than um, actually hold any actual value. Um, you got a nice 59 there. Not, not the greatest shape, but still pretty good. So it has some nice finds so far in this hunt. We got two more rolls after this one to go. The rest of this roll looks like it's a bit circulated here. Uh, 73S, this one looks very proof-like. Take a look at the back. Um, I'm going to go out of limb and say this is a proof. It, it has the look, it has the reflectiveness. Looks like it's just been circulated enough that it's not as reflective, but you can still see how mirror-like the, fil the, the fields are there. And uh, I believe they weren't, um, I don't know if they were doing the deep cam finish on, trying to get that on all proofs in 70, in the early 70s uh, still. So, hey, we got a proof. Got a proof and a uh, gold cover coin in that roll. Nice. Let's crack this next roll. See what we got going on. Got a brown, dirty brown sin on that side. This is like a red brown there. Brown with a dirty spot on it. Looks like it's probably another circulated roll, but is there anything in the middle that's worth it? Let's find out. Zoom in just a hair. Nice 72 out of Denver. Okay, well I ran out of room on my phone, so I don't know what saved the thing cut off, but I just picked up the sweet scent and saw the phone had cut out. This is a 1942 out of San Francisco. Very nice. Awesome. That is our second or third wheat scent. Let's just keep going here. Um hopefully I didn't lose all that because that footage has me opening this and opening going through everything. If I did, I'll just put through what I found so far here in just a second. After I go through the rest of this roll, take a quick look. Um, nothing else standing out in this roll. So we did get that we sent. All right, we got one roll left. Let's go ahead and peek in here. Let me move some of this over to the side so we can part the red scents. <laughs> We'll part the red and red brown and brown scents there and we'll crack into this roll and see if this one has anything standing out as well. Um, oof, I don't want to rip these. I want to keep these foil wine rolls because these are pretty nice. I had no idea they made these till recently and didn't know until I pick, picked them up from the coin shop here. Oop, one left. Just a hair. All right, this is the last roll for this hunt. I have enough for two hunts, unless um, I decide to just put all the other rolls into one hunt. But I do have enough left for two hunts there. It's a 60 out of Denver. Nope, that's just a 60. I will check that and see if it is a large date or a small date. Uh, nothing standing out in this roll. Got a polished up 1970S. This one is polished. Doesn't have the proof look. It looks like it's been very polished up. Maybe heated a little bit. Huh. Okay. Interesting. And, uh, it's 1960... That looks like a, might be a small date. Might have a second small date in this uh, lot here. Yeah, it's very cool. That might be another small date. I'll put that up here. Another find. Okay, let me go through these three rolls and check for what I can check for. And I will be right back. For those uh, last three rolls, we do have some finds here. We did hit two 1960 small dates there. 
I believe that brings us to three on the hunt. Very cool. We did have a regular 19, uh, 2009. Let's see, does this one is the regular one, circulated one. This one is a zinc. It had a 1973 proof that has been circulated. And then we have a 2000 out of Denver that's been gold plated. So those are the fines for those three rolls and uh, we'll break down everything in a minute. Okay, so that was all the fines we had. Just to uh, break them down really quick again. 2000 out of Denver that's been gold plated. Ended up with three 1960s from Philadelphia. That is the more rare, harder to find uh, small date for the Ford 1960. The two 1960s out of Denver with uh, what looks like repunch mint marks. Um, haven't looked those up. I'm going to look that up when I go into editing and I'll add those into the video. We had the 1971 with the uh, really interesting uh, machine doubling here. And then uh, the 1970 with the repunch mint mark RPM 001. That's probably the best find of the hunt. Uh, had one regular uh, released into circulation 2009. And then a whole stack of the mint set 2009s, which are on copper planchets. One, two, three, three wheat cents. Uh, uh, mostly red, 1958, being the fanciest looking one there. But we did have a 1946S, and I don't get many S mini quarter uh, weeks in this area, so it's always fun to find the, the San Francisco ones. I do have the stack of really nice coins up here that I will be um, checking against the album. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find some. Oh, they're just off the camera here. Um, but these are really, really nice. A lot of them are really, really nice. So I'll be checking those against the album. Oh, I forgot. We did get the one proof. 1973S proof. Um, I forgot to add that there. All right, we'll stick around for the album right after this. If you're interested in seeing how my album is turning out and all these, I'm sure I'm going to find some fills from these, uh, so these nicer ones, especially the 90s on into the teens. Right. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Helps me out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And a very special thank you to my channel members. Thank you very much to everyone who is supporting the channel going above and beyond. Link below if you're interested in checking out the rewards you get for signing up. Thank you very much. First coin here, I've got a 1969 out of Denver. Just as uh, some cleaner surfaces, I think I, I like it a little bit better than the ones in there, so I'm going to upgrade that one. Next up, we have three 1973 PD&Ss that I have a hard choice to make. Um, this one here, the 1973, I think has a better surface quality, even though it has some spots. They are showing up with uh, a little bit uh, more spotted on camera because of the um, definition that it's picking up. But I think I'm going to switch that one out. Um, just because that one looks much better than the one that's in there. Now for the Denver and San Francisco, I do have a couple of nicely toned ones in there. But these are just very, very nice. Almost perfect coins there as well. So I'm going to take a good close look at the surfaces and see which ones have the... Which one would grade the highest there. I might keep the toned ones in there and just set those to the side to keep. Or... I might switch them out and then keep the tone ones. I don't know yet. Um, but I'm going to switch that one out and I'm going to take a good long look at those. So I did end up switching them out. After looking at them up close, I decided to pop them out and give them a good look. Um, the surface quality on this one is just better than this one. This one has a lot of little tiny, looks like little tiny nicks and scrapes through here. This one is better quality. The reverse is much better on this one than this one. So I swapped that one out. This one has a bunch of surface imperfections. There's a couple of spots here um, and then some imperfections. And this one just is better uh, looking all around. So I decided to switch those out. I'm going to be holding on to these because these are really nice coins. Uh, but uh, I decided to switch them in the album. Next up, I have a 1981 out of Philly and Denver. Um, the Philly is a 
easy upgrade in Denver. Just much better than the one that's in there. Two easy upgrades. This next group of coins, some of them are a difficult choice, but some of them are easy. 1995 out of Philly. Um, I really like the tone on that one, but I think that's a slightly better version. I'm going to take a really close look at that. See if I want to switch that one out. 1995 out of Denver is just cleaner than the ones in there. Easy upgrade. Same with this 96 out of Denver. That is just a very near flawless coin. Going to replace that one. 97 out of Denver. Also an upgrade. Just a much better coin. It does have a fingerprint on it, but I think it's better shaped in there. Yeah, I'll take a good look at that one and see what I decide to do with that one. The fingerprint there might make me just keep the one in there and hope for a better one. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Then I have this 1999 that is just cleaner than the one that's in there. Um, so that's another I'm going to look closely at, but I think we're going to upgrade. This 1999 out of Denver is almost the exact same quality as the one I have in there. Um, so I'm going to take a really close look at that one. I'm going to take a good look at the reverse as well. Um, there is a little spot in the field on this one. The one that's in there. So I may switch that out, even though that is a gorgeous coin. It's a little... Some slight, uh, some very, very slight differences. Very close. Very shiny. Very nice coins. Next up here, I got a 2004 and 2004 in Denver that are just cleaner than the ones in there. Those are some easy upgrades there. Very beautiful coins. So this 2010 here does have a, a bit of a spot between uh, behind Lincoln's head there. But I do think it is a better quality, cleaner coin than the one that I have. So I will be upgrading that. Okay, 2010 out of Denver. Not perfect. But I think I kind of like the surface quality of this one better than the one that's in there. I think I'll look at the reverse before I decide, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to upgrade. 2011 out of Denver. This one has some interesting tone on it in there. But I think... I think this one has a little better of a surface quality than the one that's in there as well. So I'm going to take a good look at that one. Um, next up, 2013 out of Philly. It's kind of a close one. But um, I'm thinking I like this one a little bit better than this one. Uh, this one just has, looks like some uh, fingerprints all over it there. And this one may have a couple of fingerprints in places, just some light ones. Yeah, it has some fingerprints as well. Um, this one is difficult, but I think I'm going to upgrade. I like the quality. This one has a little spot there, smudge, and uh, this one just looks cleaner. Again, I'll take a good look at that one. 2014, this is a very, very nice, almost uh, flawless coin here. The one that's in there I have is pretty nice as well. Another one I got to take a good long look, but I think I like the look of this one better. 2014 out of Denver. Better than the one and a half, so that's an upgrade. And that, I believe, is it for the album. Got some tough choices in these last, uh, last few. Actually had some quite nice ones in here that uh, were better or equal to the ones I found in that uh, nice roll. So that is it for the album. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.